Hey, it's Tantals, and today I want to talk about some meeting hacks at work, in particular to remember conversations. So let's go. Now, meetings happen all the time. We can meet about our sales processes, our products, and you know, services, and meetings for the sake of having meetings, for the sake of having meetings, and so on. They're a part of the work environment, and we just have them. We don't always need them, but in any case, in meetings, we're dealing with a lot of information. So how do we get it into our brain? so that we don't have to keep asking questions or going back and forth and so on. And I know a lot of my clients have challenges within meetings where one person said one thing, another person said another, ideas intertwining, all that sort of stuff. And sometimes they're very easy, but it can get quite complex when you've got a whole various levels of information. So let's look at some strategies on how to manage meetings a lot better for the mind so that you can go and do the rest of your work a lot easier. So let's get started. Okay, so let's look at some of the challenges in terms of remembering in meetings, right? So you've got an agenda. Now, most meetings have that in terms of what to talk about. So that, that's fairly easy. Now, what I always suggest to people before they even get into the meeting is if they have the agenda, you can pre-memorize this, right? You can pre-learn it so that you don't have to sit there creating associations and stories in the meeting. Prepare yourself in advance. Anyway, that's not the whole idea. The whole idea is what do you do when you're in the meeting? I just had a client now and one of the challenges there was there's six, seven people in a room. Each of those have their own ideas. Each of those have their own thoughts. Um, and sometimes they, they clash with each other. How do I remember who said who? Obviously, he could write things down, but it can get a bit confusing because when you're writing down notes, if you're writing out page after page, how do you know something on page two might link to something on page six? You have to go through some deep down analysis of your notes. And again, th these things take time. Can't you just use your brain to decipher all the information that and there and then just get to work? This not only saves time, but maximizes proactivity. So what you do in meetings, even though it may not seem that crucial, is really crucial. So in terms of being able to remember, one little technique you can use is that whenever someone says something, you can associate whatever they said back to them. So let's say Peter is talking about introducing a new product to market uh, and that market might be you know, mobile phones. So what I'm thinking of now is this Peter, right? Maybe I'll throw a mobile phone on his head. It is a bit dramatic. You don't have to think of dramatic negative stories, but I tend to remember the negative ones. So you can create happy ones, like maybe giving you a brand new phone. That he's all happy. It gives you lunch and kisses and all that stuff, right? But I don't do that. I'm more sort of violent story type. So I throw a word at his head. He falls down. Now that's it. one bit of information. How about in each person says like six, seven, ten things. Again, I stack these stories on top of each other. Let's say Jill the PL wanted to bring a piece of food for next meeting. She loves her food, Jill. Then all I'd imagine is maybe people throwing food at her. <laughs> right? Not everything is about sewing. Maybe she's eating a lot of food. But you get the picture. It's about the story. And if she, uh, next idea she, she might bring up might be she needs to do a presentation and she needs presentation skills, right? So I might think of maybe you know, me training her in presentation skills while she's eating her food. So I'm stacking those associations on top of each other. Now, obviously, it's not going to be this random in a meeting. You're going to talk about specific things for the meeting. That's what it's there for. It's not there for total randomness. But I'm just giving you an example. Once you stack these stories on top of each other, then guess what? All you have to do is, okay, what was this person? What were the stories for them? What were the stories for them? What were the stories for them? And that will trigger that one item, whether it's food, whether it's mobile phone, and that will trigger the conversations that came from it. See, this is the beauty. You don't have to remember full conversations. Well, you don't have to remember full conversations. If there's key points, you can write down the key points. That's why there's pen and paper and laptops and iPads and technology used as tools to help you with that. You don't have to put everything in your brain, but if there's some keywords, write them down, but don't let it distract you from making those stories and connections. Because once you make that, I can guarantee, you, even if you're walking down the street and you see that person, Oh, there's Jill. Oh, she's got to stuff her face again. That's right. With food. Don't say that out loud. But you know what I mean, right? You remember that conversation. And this doesn't just happen within meeting. It could be 
you know, waterfall of conversations, if you want to remember that. It could be client stakeholder meetings somewhere. It could be events or even, you know, speaking engagements where you've got a speaker out there and you want to really grasp and learn from what they're saying. Again, make those stories in your head. That was one cool trick that came out of the coaching session is make associations to those things because I can guarantee once you do that, uh, you will remember. That's that quick tip for remembering conversations. Try it out and see how you go and comment down below and let me know how you go because I'd love to see how it's all working for you. And then also comment down below if you want any further videos on hacks at work or something like that. It could be at school or, you know, any other video you want me to make, comment down below and I'll get into it as best as I can. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.